Well, hello, Aries, and welcome to your readings at the round table. I am Jennifer, and gang's all here tonight, but you can only see patches and maybe a tiny little bit of Jasmine down here on her little dog couch. Badger's over here, Mouse is over here, gang's all here. So today, um, Aries, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we're going to see what our higher self is telling us. Here we are. First week of October, Mercury's gone direct. Let's see what our higher self is trying to tell us. Okay, Aries? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull from the moon cards, the moonology cards, and um, pull and see what our higher self is trying to tell us. And then I'm going to pull from um, the rest of the cards to see if there's more information. And then, of course, pull some advice cards from these, from the animal from the animal, the spiritual, and the essential oils. All right, Aries. This is a general reading. So this is a reading for October 3rd through the 9th. Um, if it resonates with you, that is fantastic. That's great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. No worries. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising so that you can get the whole picture with all the pieces to the puzzle for the week. All right, let's see what's going on here, Aries. Um, Y'all know I like to get a good shuffle in. Mm. Okay. So. Okay, Aries. Your higher self is saying the balsamic moon is time for a healing. Woo. Sorry, I'm turning it the wrong way. Time for a healing. All right, Aries. Let's see what we got for you. Okay, time for a healing. What does Aries need to heal from? Ooh, cards keep getting stuck. These are new cards, though. This is the Lightseers deck. Love this deck. I reviewed them on my other channel, and I don't know if I shared it on this channel, um, but I'll try to remember to do that. Okay, we'll start out with, well, we're starting out strong here, Aries. So, uh, this is, um, we've got Death and Rebirth, Nine of Wands, and Three of Wands. Now, I really, really like this because I feel like here we are in a, a place of just, I kind of want to say it's like we're starting over. I kind of want to say, because death doesn't mean death, right? Death in the tarot is like change. It's like the, um, it's like a snake skin, you know, shedding and like, living with what is left and living a good life and I feel like that's what you're doing and I feel like again this is why it's time to heal um, because we're entering into a place of like just starting over just starting over you're a little bit guarded about it because you have been through a lot I mean look at her she is fan this is a fantastic card she is like war torn, but she's standing strong, baby. She's doing it. And this is, this is so important because she's just guarded. She's not shut down. She's not like, she's not like overly defiant. She's just like, okay, I'm, we're going to see what happens, but I'm ready. I'm ready. And then we get the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands is success. The Three of Wands is like, is, the Three of Wands is success, and knowing that you can do it. I love this, because this is, a, like, here she is, she's a surfer, and she's getting ready to go out into the ocean. But she knows she can do it. I mean, she's got all these wonderful tattoos on her. She's, like, obviously a very spiritual creature. And it's all over her surfboard, too. She knows she can do it. Or this could even be that she just got out of the water and she's looking at the water and going, God dang, I did that. I did that. 
Hmm. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so you went through some stuff, Aries. You've been through it. And I think now you're just really, really just saying, okay, this is where this is where I've been, right? This is where I am, very guarded, but you're headed into a place of just super, super just oh success and being able to see it. Okay, what else have we got for Aries? Okay, feeling like I needed to draw five cards for some reason. All right, so, um, okay, here's what I like about this. So, I feel like you're getting ready to move into something better. You've started the journey. You've started the journey. You're moving awfully slow. I'll say that for you, Aries. I'm not judging. I'm a Virgo. I move really slow. I mean, really slow. I've been thinking about doing this channel for over a year in conjunction with my other channel. So, you know, I think about things a long time, but you're moving awfully slow for a fire sign. Maybe that's because we don't have a lot of planets in fire right now. But when Jupiter goes back into Pisces at the end of October, we're going to have zero planets in fire except for Chiron who's not a planet that's an asteroid so you really need to get you need to start like trying to find your energy to pick up and go because you're moving slowly but you are moving away from it you are moving past it I do like that I do like that you're like going in that direction however you're also stuck at a place where you're just like I'm not really sure I'm not really sure I'm going in the right way. I'm not really sure this is what I want to do. Just take the blindfold off. It's, it's not giants that are stopping you. It's just birds. Look at this. What a great illustration of the two of swords. It's just the birds that are trying to confuse this girl. So use, use what you have. To pull the blindfold off and see what is in front of you. See what is actually in front of you. The Page of Pentacles gives me the impression that you need to study something. Maybe it's not study. Maybe it's learning. Okay, the Page of Pentacles gives me the impression that this is something that maybe you're in the process of learning, Aries. Maybe you're in the process of, like, doing something new. You're not going to come out of this first shot out of the bag and just be like, oh, yeah, I know everything. I know everything. Again, I'm using me as an example with this channel. I had no idea. Like, I do readings for a living with clients. But reading for large groups was something a little unknown to me. So I sat, I, I sit in meditation in between each reading. I do a lot of different things, but that was a learning curve for me. And I still am finding my way with this channel like a month and a half in. So here you are, find your way, study and look at where you're going because I feel like this is also saying, you know your true north. You know what the direction that you're going in. Maybe everybody else doesn't, but who cares, right? This is your journey, not theirs. So I think that you need to just realize how much you've learned. You still have more to learn. And I don't care if you're 18 or 80. We still have an opportunity to learn here. And I think that's what you're doing. And, and again, with the King of Cups, oh my gosh, this is... This is also, um, oh, sorry, I'm looking at a cat. <laughs> um, this is also very studious energy. This is also like, um, this is somebody that likes to, um, that likes to understand what's going on. Um, King of Cups vacillates from being like, um, like a good listener to a good leader balancing that out so I feel like for you again this is something that 
this could be like you spending time in meditation and learning what you need to learn, what you're trying to understand, what you're trying to get through. Yeah, I think this is great. I think this is absolutely, this is spot on. But the thing is, he is, he's relaxed. And I think that's where you need to be, Aries, is you need to be in a relaxed position so that you can find out what, what you need to do next, where you need to go. Hmm. Hmm. Again, liking this. Okay. Let's get some clarity on where Aries needs to go for this healing. It is. You are moving away from it. But I, I think maybe that's the thing that you're taking your time with. As you're taking your time moving away from whatever this is, it's like helping you to heal, but at the same time it's knotting you up. You may have to pick up the pace a little bit faster to, like, get this healing in. Okay, what can I find out for Aries? Knight of Shells, Charm, and Passion. Knight of Feathers. Page of Acorns. Got a lot of court cards here. Okay. Knight of Shells. Charm and Passion. Knight of Feathers. Action and Focus. Page of Acorns. Discovery and Enthusiasm. This is where you're going, Aries. This is exactly where you're going. You're finding your passion you're focused on it, you're taking action, and it's you're in a place of enthusiasm, you're in a place of total discovery here. I like this. I like this. I think once you get into this healing, once you get into this this really like this healing part, you are going to just soar. I mean, I feel like you're just, you're, you truly are finding your passion. Let's pull three more. The moon, imagination and perception. The two of acorns, insight and focus, another focus card. And ten of shells, blessings and well-being. I, I think this is so incredible. This has a lot to do with your focus and your intention. I think this is great. I absolutely, I think that where you're going, Aries, is like you're in a time of healing. You need to be in a place of healing. That's what your higher self is telling you. Because once you get through the healing, once you get through this, and you're starting to just see that success, it doesn't mean that your healing is finished. But you can pick up the pace a little bit. You don't have to camp out there. You can pick up the pace a little bit. And as you move through life, as you move through some challenges that you've got, this is, this is just going to be an enormous success for you. Whatever this is that you're wanting to go through, um, I think that actually I think there's going to be a lot of healing. Um, it's going to be so successful that your healing is just going to be like, okay, okay. I did that. Yeah, I did. And shedding that skin, shedding that old skin, that's going to be a great big way to help, help you heal. It's still, I love this because it still makes you guarded. It still makes you a little on, I don't want to say on edge. But it still puts you in a place where you're just like, okay, I can, I, I can do this, but I know that I know what can happen now, and I don't want it to happen again. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna beat you up. So if this is about love, if this is about a career, if this is about like a new job or a new venture that you're trying, that you're trying for, Aries. 
I say go for it. Heal from the past and then s spread your wings. Mouse. Attention to detail. Okay, these are your advice cards. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to turn my phone off. And there's a cat right there. So I can't really reach my phone. I've pushed my crystals out of the way for him. At least they're not totally walking through the <laughs> camera anymore. Okay, advice for Aries. Advice for Aries. Advice for Aries. Facing fear. Okay, advice for Aries. Advice for Aries. Everyone seems to like the um, the cards for um, wow, two jumped out for the um, essential oil. So we're going to keep using them. Okay. Um, so here's your advice cards. Got my glasses. Okay. The mouse. Attention to details. Mouse scurries around looking in all the corners, sometimes overlooking the simple message. It reminds you to look carefully to see the forest and the trees. Be observant by paying attention to details without compromising the big picture. Focus on the obvious to attain your dreams. Okay. Kalima. Another advice card, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Okay, now here's the reason why I love these two cards for a time for healing. Because if you're in a place of healing that can make you guarded, it can also make you fearful. So you have to just like say, okay, I know this has happened before, but it doesn't have to happen again. It doesn't have to be the same, right? Um... And if I fail, if this goes bust, big deal. Moving on, right? If I start a new relationship, if I start a new career, if I start a new business, if I build a new house, whatever this is, it doesn't have to be a failure. Pay attention to the details, but like this says, see the forest and the trees. Face your fears. Okay, let's see what um, the essential oils has. White fur and ylang ylang. Oh my gosh, I love this. I like have this in my diffuser all the time. Okay, I want to point out again, this is affirmation. Affirmation, um, not um, not affirmation. Uh, she wants this to form for you. These are beautiful cards. And all the cards that I'm using are listed in the description below. Oh, I still need my glasses. Sorry. All right. Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang's emotional aspects. It releases shame, grief, sorrow, and disconnection from intuition. Healing. Um, it instills a stronger intuition, acceptance, and freedom to feel again. Healing. Love that. Okay. This oil creates the ability to rediscover life again through our inner child, strengthen our intuition, and create joy in the little things. Forest trees. The centering thoughts. I have all my answers. I listen to my inner knowing. I honor my inner child. And the affirmation is why is it so easy for me to love myself and trust my intuition? Hmm. The chakras for this oil are the heart and the throat. Oh my gosh, it's so great. Okay, and let's see what white fur has to say because this jumped out as well. The emotional aspects of this are um, it releases detrimental generational patterns and bondage to the past. Shut up. The healing. 
the new the like rebirth the shedding of the old skin like a snake oh my gosh this is so great i get so excited sorry okay it instills generational healing freedom from the past and new patterns <laughs> so great okay this creates the release of addictive cycles and patterns passed down generationally and healing within the centering thought here i release the cycles and addictions of the past my family is healed generationally we are one the affirmation is why is it so easy for us to create generational healing and the chakra is the root chakra well aries i think this is absolutely wonderful i think this is such a great reading um i i think this is just so incredible i am so excited to see where you're going I hope that you do take this time for healing. I hope that you really take this time to heal yourself. And it looks like heal generations. I think this is a phenomenal time for you. The first week of October, Mercury's gone direct. Oh, and Pluto's going direct this week as well. You've done a lot of reflection. Now it's time for, now it's time to renew. Now it's time for rebirth. I want to see what happens next, Aries. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And um, look, my co-host thanks you too. He shifted positions. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today at Readings at the Roundtable. Um, don't forget to check out your monthly numerology on this channel as well. And uh, some of my other wonderful shows on Metaphysical Roundtable's YouTube channel. And it's going to be a great week. Until I see you again, get out there and make your magic. Bye.